If you're a content creator, you absolutely need this new car mount for filming content inside of your car. It is going to clip on to your mirror and allow you to have your phone either horizontally or vertically at different angles. You can swivel it 360 so it can face wherever you need. This is a total game changer. Now, I will say that it does not fit on certain mirrors. On the normal mirrors, it will fit just fine. On the mirror in my car, it does not fit so great because I have a big bulky mirror with lots of fancy things on it. So you want to make sure that you are taking that into consideration before you jump into this but it's a total game changer let's take a look at how this works so this is the device it clips right onto your mirror which is fantastic and then you can have your phone at whatever angle you need it to be at you can lower and raise it i do have a short distance between the top of my mirror and the dashboard so i don't actually have to lower it but if you've got a bigger vehicle you absolutely can i've attached my light to my visor because i'm sitting i'm not driving i can attach it to the bottom of my phone without having an issue but it does give those harsh upward angle shadows which we don't necessarily want i did try to clip it to the top of it and it weighed it down and tipped it too much so you may want a secondary way of attaching a light if you're going to but for the most part you're actually not going to need a a light for this i just happen to be very early morning morning and, and I kind of wanted to add that just to kind of show you what you could potentially be doing. This does clip in and out very easily. All you have to do is pinch the sides and it is going to take care of that for you. So all you do is pinch right here and here. It's going to release these levers and allow you to remove your phone. I only have one hand to do this with, so we are kind of working with what we've got. But you see how you can pinch this and lower and raise this as well. You do have the ability to change right here by swiveling this, the length or the size of where you're going to be swinging this around to, so you can move it at different angles. And then to add it up here, all you have to do is pinch these buttons right here, and it lowers and raises these right here so that you can attach it to your phone. Like I said, it does not fit all mirrors. If you have a standard mirror, it's going to work really well for you. If you've got a fancy mirror, probably not so much, but you can kind of see how easy it is to be using this device. And we just attach it to our car. And for me, this is actually low enough that it matches my dashboard. So it's not even hindering where I am seeing out of my car. So if I turn this around, you can see from my view, it doesn't block where I'm looking. Now, the light kind of does, but the, the camera itself does not block where I'm going to be able to see. And if it does, I can actually lower this so that it is sitting right here in my dashboard so that I don't actually have an issue with this. This is a total game changer for your content creation because you can film yourself without having to actually film yourself. You can just start it and you can drive. You can go on the road. You can do things. You can have conversations with it. If you are going to be having like a vlog where you're traveling, you, of course, need to be making sure that you're paying attention to the road. That is your priority. There will be some places where you're not allowed to do this. I do not recommend it, but if you are maybe in the passenger seat and you're going to film a vlog this way, I would attach a microphone because the car itself is going to be really loud and it's going to distort your noise a lot. So you want to make sure you've got a microphone. I do recommend the Movo mic. We'll link that down below for you. But this is a really good opportunity for you to film your vertical and horizontal content inside your car while you're moving, while you're sitting there. This is something I'm going to be doing more. You're going to see more of me sitting in my car talking to you guys for some of the tutorials I'm teaching you or some of the conversations that we're having because it's so easy to do on the go while we're out and about moving, while I'm at a store waiting for something or waiting for somebody or whatever it happens to be, this is a really good opportunity where I no longer have to hold it and have shaky footage for you. It's going to be really easy. And I don't have to like figure out where in my dashboard I can prop up my phones or my cameras or whatever. This also works really well for my GPS. So as I'm driving, it's right there. If you noticed in the footage before, I have another thing that's kind of looped over my steering wheel and attached to my vents over to the side. That's where we've been using the GPS and the phone and all of those things. This is going to be a much better solution and very easy and simple to use. And it's not something that's going to like pop out. It's it's not something that is wedged in and then could potentially pop out at you. It is something that's going to be very easy for you to just add in, pinch it, and then it holds it very well. It's very sturdy, very stable. And again, you can change if it's facing the driver's side, if it's facing the passenger side, the back seat, horizontal, vertical, you can tip it at different angles. So if you're taller or you're shorter, or you're going to be showing things off, you can change the angle for whatever it is that you need very, very easily. And because it has those little tightening things it is very, very good at staying secure. So unlike some of the other phone holders, it's not going to slowly tip on you or accidentally drop out your phone. This is very sturdy, very well made. Mine came in a pack of two. 
highly recommend. We'll link those down below for you. And if you want more technology that can help you to make your content creation life easier, follow along. We've got a whole playlist on tech and tools that you can be using to save time and effort creating your social content. And every single day, we are dropping brand new videos to help you navigate the world of social media marketing so that you can make the most of your time online, but spend less time doing it to be more profitable while still living your best life and running your business. We'll see in the upcoming episodes. And if you've got a piece of tech you want me to try out for you, go ahead and let me know. We're going to break it all down for you, show you exactly how you can be using these things.